Ladies and gentlemen, in this video I would like to describe you how to make a holograph from a cellular phone. I'm already aware that there are a couple of examples online, but as a difference, I thought it would be useful to describe you how it works and the history behind it. The most popular version is the four-sided pyramid, uh, which can be made with an hour of effort. The way I made it was, I drew one of the pieces onto a post-it, and then I took the CD case, placed the post-it on it, and then with a sharp scriber, I outlined around it. Once it's marked, I used a hobby knife to cut around it. Uh, just beware that the CD case is very brittle and you have to be a little patient not to crack it. And once the pieces are cut off, uh, the pieces can be uh, put together with a tape and once the pieces are aligned you can use a glue, uh, modeler's glue, glue it together, dry it off and remove the tape and clean the part. And here's the result. Actually the projected image from a cell phone is not a real hologram. The video, which contains four views of the object, are being reflected from the four sides of the prism, causing the illusion of a 3D object hanging in mid-air. This means that the four individual views are not optically affecting each other, but when you rotate the phone, it allows you to see all sides of the object. The trick which makes this optical illusion successful is having a black background and the object well fit and centered within the framing. This optical illusion was first discovered at the 16th century by an Italian scholar named Giambattista della Porta. After he was able to save himself from the Inquisition with the help of a priest friend, he was able to release his work in a series of books named Nature Magic. Later the technique became popular as Pepper's Ghost in theaters. As you could see, the image on the pyramid is quite small because all four views are being fit onto one screen. In order to enlarge it without spending much more time, I found this easy solution. So the method I did was, I took the back of the CD case, placed it on the side of the phone and supported it from the back with a weight. And at the end, I took one pen and kept the CD case in a 45 degree angle. So, here's the result. If you have looked carefully at the illusions, you may have noticed a slight blur at the edges. The reason for this is, while half of the light is reflected to the observer from the front of the glass, a quarter percent of the light is also being reflected from the rear face of the glass. Of course, this can be eliminated by using a plexiglass with a non-glare face as an example. As last, you have seen the enlarged illusion of Yoda. Thank you for watching.